and welcome. My name is Susan Whitaker, and we are doing yoga for wellness within. Today's practice is for the Manipura chakra. It's for the solar plexus chakra, which is right here in the very center of your body. And this chakra is of extreme importance because this is the place of self-esteem, self-regulation, and the will your energy for getting things done. It's a lot about who you are and how you project yourself. And it's also about tuning into the life force within you. The Manipura, which is, means lustrous gem, is right in the center of the body and it's coming up out of the earth through the root and into the very center of the body. So it kind of wraps around the body. It's not just in the front, it's in the back and in the sides too. So we'll start becoming aware of the Manipura Chakra by opening the arms with an inhale. And then raise your arms overhead on the exhale. Inhale, open the arms. And exhale, bring your hands in to touch your center. Just rest your fingertips lightly. And exhale through the nose. And again, inhale through the nose. Exhale overhead. Keep your neck and jaw relaxed. Inhale, open the arms. And think of expanding your own inner space. And exhale, bringing the hands back to the center. One more time, think of broadening your rib cage. Inhale and exhale, arms overhead, touching the fingertips. Inhale, open wide. You can bend your elbows if you have shoulder issues. And exhale, bring the hands in to touch. Good. Now you'll notice that I'm sitting in a chair. You can sit in your chair or you can come down to the floor, which I'm going to do. So, you could do that first posture, sitting on the floor, or stay in your chair. And then this next one is going to be placing the hands on the shoulders, and it's a little more vigorous. So you'll begin to twist from side to side, and you'll notice that the movement comes from the solar plexus and the rib cage. The solar plexus is the element of fire. Solar means sun, of course. So this is your inner fiery self right here. And we want to bring it into balance. So when we twist in this way, it's a little bit rapid. We're going to inhale to one side and exhale to the other side. And exhaling with a ha. Allow your head to turn if your neck will allow. And feel that rotation right in the middle of your body. We're lifting our energy up when we work with the solar plexus chakra. And then slow it down, take one deep breath, keep moving. And then a slow exhalation and come to stillness. Place your hands on your knees. If you're on the chair, just rest your hands in your lap. And this next movement it is, is designed to lift and open the solar plexus. This is also the location of the diaphragm, which regulates our breathing. And so when we allow the diaphragm to drop down into the belly, our lungs can fill more. When the diaphragm rises up, it squeezes the heart and the lungs. Taking your hands to your hips, You'll pull your elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then come forward. And just do that a few times. Just notice how this feels on your shoulders and on your back. And you can begin to move the head. It's even kind of hard to keep the head still here. So elbows forward, elbows back. Breathe in when your elbows are back. Breathe out when your elbows are forward. And we'll do one more back and forth. And if that worked for you, you can keep your hands on your hips, or if you want to go a little deeper, reach behind you, interlock your fingers, and pull straight down. That's going to lift your chest and open up the space of your solar plexus. As you pull in and down with chest expansion, bring your chin forward 
and roll your head slowly from side to side. Make sure that you're still breathing. I like to call it breathing below the surface. The surface being the movement and the breath is your internal movement in your lungs, your stomach, your kidneys, your diaphragm, all the internal organs that help support us. And the question is, do you have room to breathe? As you bring your head back to the midline, let go of your hands and relax your arms. And we're going to stand up and stay with that breathing. So as you stand up, step your feet hip width apart and we'll do the breath of joy. And this is to really lift up your energy. So a couple of cautions. If you have shoulder issues, you can do this movement with your hands on your shoulders. If you have low back issues or know that you shouldn't lower your head lower than your heart, you're going to modify the movement and go no further than your knees. So here's the movement. Take a wide stance. You'll inhale and raise your arms. Exhale, I'm sorry, inhale again. Bend your knees, open the arms. Inhale again, lift your arms. And then exhale, bending your knees, you're going to throw your arms forward. Huh and then inhale up again. So you can see how you could modify it. <sighs> Hands on shoulders, or just coming no farther than the hips or the knees. So let's go into it. Three short breaths in, one exhale forward. Inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> And this is about taking up space and expanding. <sighs> Creating freedom. <sighs> this is an anti-depression <sighs> practice. It's kind of hard to be sad when you're swinging your arms around. Put your elbows on your thighs and bend your knees. Drop your head, shake your head no. Take several deep breaths. Now pushing yourself upright, stay with a wide-legged stance, and we're going to take the left hand to the left leg, sweep the right arm up along the ear, leaning over to your left side. There's a lot going on in this solar plexus, and part of what goes on here is asking ourselves to be in balance. So as you lean to the left side, broaden the ribs on the right side and press with the right foot. Turn your eyes and look down. And lifting your head to touch your arm, rise up, look to the right, sweep your arm down until your hand touches your leg. And then let the left arm rise with a big inhalation. And slide the right hand down, leaning to the right. Now again, bowing the ribs on the left side. Press into your left foot. Gaze down with your eyes. And feel that deep stretch as you stretch into your left ribs, bringing balance to the center of the solar plexus. Lift your head to touch your arm. Rise up and looking to your left, Bring that hand down, watching it with your eyes. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Lift your shoulders. Take a breath out as you shrug your shoulders back and down. And just place your hands on the sides of your body. Find your rib cage and just notice the roundness of your body. The solar plexus isn't like a little knot of energy. It's like a sun beaming out, and it beams out into the ribs, into the back, in front of the body. Now we'll raise our arms to shoulder level for a standing lunge with a twist. Rotate your right foot to the right. You'll bend the right knee. Now we'll pivot on our left foot. So you're going to lift that heel, turn all the way around to the right. Reach back with your left heel, press firmly with your front foot, 
Keep your front knee in alignment with your second toe and have strong arms here. Find some strength in your body. If you need to come out sooner, please do. Take a deep breath and then pulling your hands together in Namaste, push, straighten the right foot, rotate the left foot out. And rotate the left foot out. Imagine that you're moving not from your shoulders and arms, but from your solar plexus, from your place of power. So inhaling, raise your arms, exhaling, bend the left knee. Now turning to your left, so your left arm will go behind you, your right arm will go in front of you, lift your back heel, pivot, keep your left knee gently drawing inward, pushing with that foot, and roll your torso around, not the neck so much as the torso. The neck can gently turn, Breathe in, unwind, bring your hands together, and breathe out, relax, take your arms down. Let's do that one again. That's a really nice pose, and it builds your confidence, going into that sense of self-esteem. Inhale the arms up, rotate the right foot out, bend the knee, starting out in warrior two. Then we'll lift that back heel, and as we pivot the foot, we pivot the upper body. Gently turn the head. Now the left arm is in front and the right arm is in back. Adjust your foot and knee position. Reach with your back heel. Have strong arms, but not rigid. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, pull your hands together. Push and return. Rotate that left foot and then the right foot will follow it. Inhale, raise your arms again. And if you want to work on strength, this is a good pose to practice. Rotate the left foot out, and as you lift that right heel, you're going to turn the whole body left. Right arm in front, left arm in back. Bending the front knee, reach with the back heel, turning right at the solar plexus, taking your rib cage around. Be gentle with your neck. Let's take one more breath. Bringing the hands together and pivoting forward. Release the right foot, turn the left foot. Good. Take a deep breath in. And let that breath out with a soft ha. And you can feel your energy rising with these standing poses. Step your feet together. And since the Manipura Chakra is about balance, Balancing right side and left side, balancing masculine and feminine, balancing giving and receiving, front and back, above and below, we're going to do a balance. So if you need help with the balance, stand near a chair or stand near the wall. You're going to step your feet about hip width apart, lean into that left foot, hands on the hips. That's a low center of gravity. Now pushing with the left foot, simply raise your right leg. This is called the number four balance. Then taking your hands up in cactus with your hands in front of your shoulders and elbows bent. Push with the left foot. Keep the right ankle lightly flexed. And if you feel like you can, go ahead and raise your arms overhead and lift up. You sort of look like a chair here. That's it. Good. Keep trying. The balances can be challenging, so we don't want to judge ourselves. We just want to lift into them, use support if you need it by holding a wall or holding onto a chair. And on your exhale, step your right foot down, and with your palms down, you're going to slowly lower your hands right through the center. Relax all the way down to your fingertips, and just let your arms hang by your sides, dangle your, ankle, your wrists and your hands. We'll go into our second side. So shifting your weight first into the right foot, put your hands on your hips, and then pushing into the foot, we're gonna lift that left foot. The knee is in alignment with the hip, and then there's a straight line down from your foot to your heel. Press into that standing foot, that's it. You'll feel yourself getting taller. Then placing your hands in cactus, this is the next step. And if you lose your balance, you step down and you step right back up again. And if it's available to you, raise your arms overhead. Feel like someone is holding your wrists and lifting you up while you press with the right foot. Wobbling is allowed. 
and let's take one more breath. Step down with the left foot and with your palms facing down, nice, slow lowering of the hands, like you're pushing through the air. And just bring your arms right down by your sides. Relaxing into your hands, kind of wiggle your fingertips. And we'll come down to the floor. If you have knee issues, you can go back to your chair. If you're able, if you need to, also you can put a pad under your back knee. We're going to step forward with the right foot, put the right hand on the right thigh. Lunge gently forward, making sure your knee goes no farther than your heel. And we'll reach forward with the left arm, lift it up, sweep it behind us, and forward again making a big circle. Here's the modified version with your hand on your shoulder. And if you want, you can turn your head, bringing some flexibility to your neck. Drop that right shoulder down. In yoga, we train ourselves that if we're not using a particular part of the body, we let it go because it doesn't need the tension of of waiting for its turn. Let's take one more circle. Then as you bring your hand forward, place it alongside of your foot, right side alongside of your foot, and draw back with your hips, straightening your leg. Good. Now from here, we're going to lift up on the chest. It's easy to fold over the leg. And what we want is to lift the chest and remind ourselves, oh, my fiery element wants to rise. So we're not pinching the neck back, we're lifting the chest. You can look right at the floor. Step the right foot back and the left foot forward and we'll do our lunge on the second side. You can take a moment to slide your right knee back a little bit, pad the knee if you need to. Left hand on left thigh and here we go. Inhale, big circle forward. Exhale, take it back. So we're actually doing backward circles. We reach out, we lift, and we return behind us and sweep down. Here's the modified version, hand on shoulder. Find your breathing here. What you're doing is creating plenty of space for your lungs. Think of opening your torso. Think of all the time you spend sitting down or watching movies or reading or on the computer and this is an antidote to all those actions where we're leaning forward and folding in. Last one, we'll pull back with the hand and as we bring it forward, place your hand to the outside of your foot, left hand down and then slowly straighten that front leg. Some of us will be able to straighten the leg, some of us are going to keep a little bit of a bend in the knee. Pull the hips back and lift your chest. Now notice when you lift your chest if your head goes back. Can you bring your chin down and think of extending out through your crown? Release by gliding forward into the knee. We'll press with the hands, take that knee back so we're on hands and knees. Now we're going to bring our forearms to the mat. And this is downward facing puppy. So with your forearms down, you will tuck your toes and lift your hips, arch your back, lift your tailbone right in the air. You've seen puppies do this. Some of you will be able to slide the hands forward and take the chest down, place the forehead down. Or the chin. To come out, slide the hands back, push into the hands, and rise up. Release your feet and round your back. Draw your solar plexus right up into the body. And then completely relax. Allow your back to flatten. And lie down right on your belly. So slide on down to the floor. And if you have a difficult time lying on your stomach, sit in a chair and I'll show you what to do, okay? So we'll start out with hands under shoulders, bring your heels parallel, place the chin down. 
This is a modified locust. We're going to lift the chest and the right leg. Now this movement, you think this movement comes from your leg. It really comes from the solar plexus. Hug in with your elbows. You're gazing at the mat. And then exhale, come down again onto your chin. Heels stay parallel while we do the left side. Inhale, lift your chest and your left leg. Bring your shoulder blades together, elbows close to the body. Exhale, come down again. Now stack your hands, turn your head to the side and let your heels roll out. Just gift yourself with a few breaths and then turn your head in the opposite direction. You might be hearing your heart beat rapidly. So if you were sitting in a chair, what you would do is sit in the chair and mimic the same movement. You'll sweep your arms behind you and simply lift your chest. Okay? And then when you come down, just turn your head side to side. And let's repeat that one more time with both hands, with both legs. <laughs> so we're on our belly, hands under the shoulders, forehead down. The feet are parallel, about hip width apart. And on your inhale, you'll lift your chest and your legs. Draw your shoulder blades down and together. Hug the elbows, reach into the toes, reach out with the crown. Let your eyes gaze down. It's as though you're balancing right on the solar plexus. There's a lot of musculature in there. And plexus means connection, so there's a lot of nerve endings there too. On the exhale, come down, relax. Stack your hands, let your heels roll out, head to the side. Gift yourself with a couple of very deep breaths. Turn your head away to the other side. And then as you bring your head to the midline, slide your hands under your shoulders, come to hands and knees, and fold back into a child pose. Ease your hands underneath your shoulders. If your knees or your back or your chest don't allow for that, here's your child pose. Lie on your back and just draw your knees to your chest. It's the same pose, but your knees are no longer weight-bearing. So both poses are counter-stretched to the locust. Take one more breath and feel that broadness across your upper back and middle back. That's your receiving heart area. Then walking your hands back, come on up to a seated position on the floor or in a chair. And we're going to walk the left hand out slightly to the left. Put the right hand on the right shoulder and imagine this movement coming right here from your center. So you'll lean to the left, raise the right elbow, and look down. Drop the bottom shoulder, press with the right sitting bone. And think balance. And you can even silently say to yourself, I am balanced. The affirmation for this pose is, I am whole. Inhale, rise up. Drop that right hand and take it out to the right. You can switch your legs. Left hand on left shoulder. Lean to the right. Gaze down with your eyes. Drop the right shoulder. Left sit bone pressing down. I am whole. And with your in-breath, rise up again. Find both sitting bones. Be aware of your knees. Be aware of your hips in balance. Be aware of your shoulders. And bring your hands to the center. We're going to touch the solar plexus with our thumbs. And just be aware of that strong center within ourselves. Then bringing your hands up to your heart in Namaste. 
Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.